tell me about the work you're doing in the community today. Right, right. So yeah, man. So I got involved with this program, bro. Um, uh, and uh, what the program focused on was teaching emotional literacy skills, man. You know, I was 21, 22 when I got when I got involved with it. I started really going to these groups. Um, and basically, long story short, bro, this uh, the the founder of this program, he did he did uh, 16 years to life in prison with the possibility of parole. First African American to ever uh, parole his first parole board meeting, uh, and what he did, bro, was bring those those groups that they have in prison to help rehabilitate most prisoners. He brought them out here, so I got to experience those groups out here in, in the schools and JCCS schools, probation schools, all that stuff, right? And um, and I, and as I got more involved, bro, I, I wanted I, I wanted to learn more about myself because through these programs, I learned why I did all the dumb shit I did, man. You know, and, and and it was tough admitting my wrongs, and and it was and it was tough to admit that that I felt I fell into the the bullshit, man. All this gang shit, man, is bullshit, bro. There ain't no loyalty, there ain't no respect. Your homies are gonna try to fuck your bitch. They're gonna try to jack your shit. Um, there, there ain't all that shit is fake, bro. And I thought it was real. I thought it was real, man. I thought your homie's gonna back you up. Your homie's not gonna snitch on you. Your homie ain't gonna do the things that they're not supposed to do, bro. But in reality, bro, it's all bullshit. In the end of the day, and um, so as I got involved with the program, I started working for the program. I started learning how to run these groups. So I was going to schools all over San Diego, bro, from North County all the way over here to South Bay, bro. And every JCCS school I've probably been to that, that are here in San Diego, man. So what does JCCS Juvenile, stand for? Juvenile Court Community Schools. Okay. That's what it stands for. I think it has a different name today, but that's how I know it as Juvenile Court Community Schools. And that's where probation is at and all these kids, the, the bad kids, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so I started going to these schools, bro, and, and I just connected really well with the kids, man. Uh, because I don't come here to make them feel comfortable, bro. Um, their homies tell them all that bullshit to make you feel comfortable. And then you fall into the bullshit. Oh, I'm, uh, you, you're going to have love here, homie. I got your back. That's to make you feel comfortable be, being around us. But when shit hits the fan, bro, it ain't going to happen. So that's what I was teaching these kids. I come here to tell you the truth, bro, what, what could happen. Now I'm not here to tell them what to do, but as they talk, I help them realize. I help them question what they're saying, bro. Right. Question what you're saying, like, cause a lot of the times the things that we say, bro, make no fucking sense. So they, these kids started fucking with me, bro, because I helped them make sense of what they're saying. And some of them have it, me, bro. I didn't grow up in, in a drug infested home. I didn't grow up from divorced parents, bro. I have a good fucking family. My mom was just tough, controlled. She was. She likes to control everything. You know what I mean? I have not, I have humble ass dad, bro. I had no reason to join a gang. But I was around it, bro. Like I said earlier, I was attracted to it, bro. I thought it was the coolest thing you could fucking be. And and the older you get, bro, homies start going to prison, you start seeing the reality of the griminess in this shit. And, and you know what I mean? So that so you know, I just talk to these kids, bro, and, and I run these groups and, and I get to know them, bro, and they, they've taught me as much as I've taught them. You know, um, to, to, to grow the fuck up, bro, is uncomfortable. Hey, Simple, shit. man. Simple as fuck. It's very fucking uncomfortable, bro. This is so, this is the uncomfortability I had to experience to grow the fuck up. And some people choose to keep going, bro. I chose to do it different. And it comes with the repercussions, it comes with the consequences, but it has its benefits, bro. And, and I don't, I don't, I'm in, I'm in the place where I got shot, bro. I don't got to watch my back, homie. I don't, I don't got to do none of that shit, bro. People here know who I am. I'm not here looking for trouble, but I'll give it to you. If you, if you really feel you got to do something to me or get gangster with me, bro. I, I don't, I'm, I'm an ex-gang member, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't live like that no more, bro. You know what I mean? Because to me, I did this for nothing. I have one or two homies from my neighborhood, bro, that I still talk to. One or two. Out of fucking 50, 60 motherfuckers. And there you have it, man. We sure appreciate your time. Hey, I appreciate you for keeping it real, keeping it honest, and not glorifying it, but telling us really how it was and how it's going to be. So uh, your last words, if you could tell somebody about to be put on right now, if you could talk to them or you could say something that's going to make a lasting impression, what would you say? Man, you know, if somebody's trying to get involved in that right now, bro, get ready, man. Get ready for the drama. Get ready for the bullshit. Um... If you want to live a miserable life, knock yourself out. Go experience it. Me, man, the reason I say that, bro, because I was one of those kids that had to experience it for myself. Mm -hmm. If you really want to, if you don't want to learn from what I'm telling you, cool. Uh, they, 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 have a, they have a cell ready for you, bro.
They have a whole dug double ready ready for you, homie. So they have a wheelchair for you right here ready, bro. <laughs> you, um, see what happens, man. You're, you're flirting with something, bro, that, that doesn't bring you nothing back in return, homie. And all you're going to get is betrayal, abandonment. People are going to forget about you, homie. People are going to forget about you, bro. Don't think about what they think about you, bro. Stop thinking about what people think about you, bro. On some real shit. Because I was so concerned that my homies thought I was going to think I was a bitch. I was so concerned my homies were going to think I was a punk. I was a bitch. So that's why I would do all that shit. It wasn't in me to want to rob somebody. It wasn't in me to want to hurt somebody, bro. But but because I thought so much about their opinion, bro, I, I did stupid things that led me to being in this situation. I didn't want somebody to think that because this guy had a gun on me in my face that I was going to punk out. That's how bad I had it. So that's why I stood up to a guy with a gun to my face, bro. And, and look at what I got, man. And everybody, everybody's gone, homie. So get ready, bro, because it's, it's going to, it, there's nothing sweet about this shit. There's nothing nothing there's no appreciate it appreciate pointless, your time pointless. and i'm king monje i'm the leader and the captain of my destiny i will succeed because i believe i will and i was sent here to inspire those who are great and sometimes tend to forget it you guys be safe and love yourself